While Apple beefs up its presence on the Emerald Isle, you probably miss technology to keep you from smothering your partner in their sleep, a device that can spot a tumor from outside the body, and the Hot Wheels Bay Jack's Giant would want, but you can use to get a new car. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where supermarket robots are just the thing we've needed to find which damn aisle the polenta's down. Robots for the win! Woo! Ow! Anytime you put automation and car shopping together, you're gonna come out happier because no one likes a car salesman. Girls, especially four years old, their hearing is exactly 107.5% worse than a five-year-old boy's, okay? I don't think that's true. It's true. That's why Carvana's brand new car vending machine has us all excited. Opening today in Nashville, you can buy a car online, then pick it up from a vending machine like you would a giant soda pop. Also, it looks a lot like the Hot Wheels service bay that lived at my grandma's house. So let's go ahead and call this idea tested and approved. Hot Wheels. They're one of the ways I tell my kid I love them. I'd like to take you to sick bay and run an internuncial series on you. Can you walk? The Star Trek future we've all been waiting for just got a little closer. Stanford researchers developed a tricorder-like device that non-invasively scans your body for cancer. It's based on DARPA technology that uses high-energy microwaves to scan for buried explosives. So just as buried bombs vibrate at different frequencies, the Stanford team found that tumors vibrate differently than surrounding healthy tissue. The scanner should be in your doctor's office by 2030, just in time for pro skier Ian McIntosh to stop falling down the 1,600-foot Alaskan mountain. No doctors needed. He's apparently a miracle of God. <sighs> Ladies, before you murder your man for sign logs like he's Paul Bunyan's long-lost son, there might be some tech for that. Two new crowdfunded products swear they can stop snoring. The Nora on Kickstarter now comes with a pillow that moves when the sound waves start, which is way better than the elbow jabs you've been using. And the silent partner, out now on Indiegogo, somehow promises to create a quiet zone with this nose wearable. It supposedly creates a counter noise that cancels out the sound waves coming from a snorer. But I don't know. I feel like we've seen this thing before, and it did not go well. The cone of silence. I am deeply concerned about the conference room. And finally, aspiring backyard beekeepers can use a video algorithm to check if their bees' flight patterns show whether the insects are stressed or sick. We developed an algorithm to track the flight activity and translate hours of video to an easy visual, real-time summary. Done. 